friends, welcome back to Well and Worthy Life Podcast. I'm so excited to have my fellow health coach with me today, Lori Carter. Lori and I are super excited because we've got Balance Movement Method coming up soon, and we cannot wait to introduce you to it. So let me tell you a little bit about Lori. Lori and I met through coaching another program. And let me go through some of her certifications so that you will be as impressed with her as I am. Like I said, she is a health coach and she's certified through NASM, which is the, help me out, Lori, National, what is that? National Academy, National Academy of Sports Medicine. There you go. So NASM, and she's a fitness and nutrition specialist, a functional movement and screen specialist, and a women's fitness instructor. So a lot of different certifications. And, you know, it's, I don't think a certification makes you everything. I think there's so much more to it. It's experience and everything else, but certification is a good place to start. And we both started there with certifications, right, Lori? But you've yeah. been doing this for how many years now? 17, 18? Uh, since I was 34 and I'm 50, almost 53. <laughs> so that's some years, about 18, 18 years. 18 years. Yeah. Because my youngest is 18 and I started when he was born. So. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, that's so exciting. You know, it's, if anybody's been around for a while, they may have heard my story about Pure Bar and, and me becoming an instructor with Pure Bar. And I, when I was younger, when my kids were young, I always wanted to be a personal trainer and, or a step instructor. Remember step? Did you yes, teach step I, back in the day? No, but I loved it. Oh I my gosh. It. And those like outfits, games. those <laughs> outfits we'd wear with the thong. Like, yes. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe. <laughs> I really cannot believe we wore those kind of things, but we did, but I always wanted to do that. And it just, it just was never the right timing. My ex-husband that I was married to was not encouraging and didn't want me to do anything like that. So I never got certified to do something like that, but I always wanted to. And then it's funny because, and I've talked to you about this too. I tried to, I thought, Oh, probably about a year ago, I thought well, I'll get my personal training certification from NASM. Oh my goodness. That's I, where I started. That's where yeah, I started. That is a yeah. hard thing to get to. So I started it. I did not finish it because, and I've done lots of certifications. I've done my yoga certification, pure bar trained, went to IIN. I may have done a lot of certifications, but yeah. this was by far the hardest certification because you had to know so many parts of the body, all the muscles and what they did. And just, it was just way too much for me. I was like, lots of flashcards. I remember a lot of flashcards when I was studying. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but let's talk a little bit about why we feel so passionate about this newest program in the Balance family. I'm, I'm really excited. So we've got Balance Wellness Method. We've got Balance Eating Method. And now we're going to have Balance Movement Method. What excites you about this? The biggest thing is to show women that, well, a couple of things. One is to show them that they are stronger than they think mentally and physically. And I think a lot of times when you are training and resistance training and all that, you really start to see that about yourself. You learn that about yourself. I know I did when I started it. And I think from there, you just start to feel really empowered about your whole life. It just really helps you in all areas of life. So I'm excited to teach women that not only was it something that you needed to focus on back then, but even more so now as we get older. I think so, I think that probably gets lost somewhere as we move through life. And we're like, oh, you know, it's probably, well, it, it actually matters more now than it did back then, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, I have done strength training some throughout the years and now I find it more important than ever. And this goes right along with, you know, our foundation foundational program, Balance Wellness Method, you know, we talk about movement in there and about finding the movement that, that you like. I don't, I used to say that you love, but I don't think that anymore because maybe you're somebody who doesn't love 
exercise, period. That's hard for me to understand, to be perfectly honest. I've always, that's movement has never been my problem. It was yeah, probably the eating thing. more than the, the movement for me. But we know that eating right and moving right at this stage of our life is what's going to make us feel our best. And I think that's the most important thing. So, so, but we've learned and, and there's new science emerging all the time, but we, we have learned that protein is more important than ever. So, you know, in balanced eating method, we really focus on that protein and, and eating those plants and now, in, and balanced movement method to go along with eating, right. We've got to move our body, right. We've got to do that strength training, that resistance training, which will help us avoid a lot of problems that we can experience as we get older, mm -hmm. right? And Absolutely. it'll help us give us the confidence and we'll look better in our clothes. But we have to pair the two of those things up together. When I started out, I hired a trainer after my third child and my body was just wrecked and I had no energy. And I, and I have to say, I hired the trainer not knowing anything about anything. <laughs> I was starting from a whiteboard that never had been written on as far as movement and especially strength training stuff. But when I did that, I found that I really wasn't focusing on changing up my, my nutrition with that. What a, what a waste of time. It, once I started eating better and moving as you know, really getting into the strength training stuff. I was like, whoa, I, I truly was blown away. I was like, whoa, I've never seen that muscle before. And I, <laughs> I mean, because muscles are, they're torn down during the workout, but they're rebuilt in the kitchen. Right. So you, you got to pair the both to really reap the benefits of it. Yeah. So I love that. And, you know, and it does change, you know, we grew up in an era that it was all the cardio do the cardio, oh. cardio, cardio, cardio. I know I was guilty of that. I was a runner mm -hmm. for a long time and I didn't really do any strength training. In fact, I used to say, oh, I can build muscle really easy. I don't want to have too much muscle. And, um, and now we know that that's not true. And we especially, <laughs> yeah, and especially as we get older, that's certainly mm -hmm. not true. And we want to do everything we can to avoid osteopenia and sarcopenia. We have to, we know that we've got to do resistance and strength training, but a lot of people, and I am the same way sometimes, well, I know if you just say, well, go to a gym, I'm going to be like, oh, well, what am I going to do? I mean, yeah. I kind of know what to do. I mean, I've been in this world for a long time. I kind of know, but it's so much easier when you can put it together in these small doable segments, because yes. that's the thing we talk about this in all the balance programs is the small things that we do consistently. And I think we, we used to think we had to spend hours, even some people still think they have to spend hours in the gym and that's just not true because no, that's I, not sustainable either. No, it's not fun. It's not fun. Like I've gone from out an hour of training throughout the years when I was younger, then I went down to 30 minutes, like late forties, maybe early 50. There's some days. I'm 15 minutes mm -hmm. and, you know, and then I give myself a little warm up, maybe some walking prior and then some stretching after and that kind of thing. But the physical movement of strength training, sometimes I'm in and out 15 minutes. And when I've said that to some of my friends and even clients in the past, they're like, wow, can you really get a workout in that? Absolutely. You can be super effective. It's what you're doing. It's the, the type of movement that you're doing, there's variables within that to make it really effective, but absolutely can kick your butt in 15 minutes and, and you feel like I've worked it all. And personally, I like to work my entire body in a workout. It seems that my body responds really well to that. So 15 and minutes. I like that too. And actually I've already done one of the workouts in, in the program that you created. It was the first one yeah. that we've done and it was 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. It was just body movement. And I was like, I was sore the next day and I <laughs> loved it. 15 minutes. 
but you know, we're not saying 15 minutes is all the movement you need in a day, you know, no. not it at all, but no. for that strength, because we want you moving all day long. I mean, there's, there's this term called neat. Why, why don't you explain neat to them if they've never non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So it's movement outside of a formal workout, sleeping and eating. So it's, you know, walking, walking into the grocery store. It's taking your dog on a walk. It's taking the stairs instead of the elevator. It's all of that movement. And like Deanna said, you know, it's not just that workout, that formal workout. That's that workout. We we need to be doing that strength training, but it's really, it totally encompasses all the other movement that's paired with it that really helps with longevity and all the benefits that we're, you know, putting in day to day by adding that increased need. You can just get creative with it. Even, you know, like sitting at an office desk, you know, mm-hmm. maybe you eat, you know, maybe you take a call or you eat your lunch at your desk, you know, maybe walk down to the cafeteria and meet up with your friend or take a walk around the office building on your call. If you can't, you know, just little things like that, that we can do to increase our movement. Cause it's, again, it's just not that one workout. We've got all this other movement that is as important, if not more important. Right. And I think, I think that's the whole thing. And this accountability support showing you how to make it, how to incorporate it in your life, because we all have different lifestyles. We, we, we tend to live in this busy, busy, busy life right now. Right. I mean, everything's go, 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 but you can carve out this time for yourself and it's important, but it doesn't have to be so long. I was in New York city with Jeff and we ice skated. I saw that. (laughs) It was so much fun. And I couldn't help but think about how our, our core and our stability, we had to be very Mm. stable. We had not, I asked Jeff, I said, how long has it been since you've ice skated? Now he's 65. He said, probably 40 years. For me, it was probably 20 years. But, you know, skiing and stuff like that, I, I, and he skied too. So that was kind of, it's kind of similar. But I was thinking about that, that our core had to be really strong and it is strong and we can do things like that because we do other things. We ride bikes, we, we walk. Um, I do strength train. He doesn't. I wish he did. <laughs> but but <Go> get him. <laughs> he plays tennis. You know, we are very active. And I think that that is really important so that you can keep doing these things. Because the last thing that one thing I did worry about a little bit when we were ice skating yesterday, and there was a couple of wobbly times for mm-hmm. him that I thought, oof, he loses his balance. He's going to fall. In fact, one time he almost lost his balance and <laughs> he grabbed onto me. It was like, man, we're both going down uh, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't hold on to me. <laughs> but, but neither one of us fell and we had a great time. But I really, I did think about that. I thought, you know, the reason that we can do stuff like this is because our core is strong and strength training strengthens our core. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Mobility, core, you know, I, I, even though in a lot of strength training moves, you are using that inevitably because of just by nature of the movements that you're doing, but it's important to work specifically on mobility for mm-hmm. things like that, skating, you got to right. have that balance and core because, the, you know, I always think and explain our core as the trunk of the tree, mm-hmm. you know, our arms are the limbs and everything, but the trunk needs to be, and I'm not talking six pack ab. I'm not right. talking about that stuff. I mean, that's, that's the goal. That's great. Go for it. I think it's awesome, but I'm talking about that you feel your body feels confident in movement. Mm. It feels that it's not straining. It's it's at ease as it's trying to be fluid while you're doing things like skating, but it's got this confidence about it that I can hold, I can hold Jeff up. I can hold right. Dan up. Mm. It's it's that's the trunk. That's yeah. That's where yeah. it's gonna start. Yeah. And I, I do, I just, I'm, I'm so, I feel so passionate about this because we need to have that strength. Years ago, I read a book called younger next year. And mm-hmm. he talked about that, that in your, the way you live in your thirties, forties, fifties, sixties will dictate how you live in your seventies, eighties, 
90s and maybe maybe we'll make it past 100 yeah. who knows you know and so we've got to do that strength training so that we can be strong through those years so that we have our balance so that we have our mobility so that we can try different things without getting hurt we yes. know that when we're in our 70s and 80s and 90s if we fall and hurt yeah. ourselves you could be down for the count at that yes. point, you know? Yeah. So, and it, yeah. I know it's hard to think like I'm in 57. So I'm not that far away from 70 when you think about it. I mean, I'm really 13 years away from 70, which <laughs> that even you just saying oh, that, you're like, oh, oh that was an eye opener. <laughs> how is that going to happen? I mean, like, what? But, and then I, I, I think, wish I knew, even like if you're on social media, everybody's talking about strength training. Everybody, you know, we're mm -hmm. really as a society are understanding the importance of it. And yes, of course, everybody, there was, you know, a lot of people that recognized it when we were younger. But I really did not even get into it until after my third child. I hiring that trainer just really, I was like, wow, my body can do so much more. I just felt physically stronger. And as I got physically stronger, I got mentally stronger. It just really, I could see that transformation myself, but I wish that I would have taken it serious. I remember going into the gym with my husband in our twenties and he was all into working out. It really was him that got me working out. I was like, well, I'm just going to go to the gym with him. And I'd <laughs> watch him and I'd say, you know, okay, well, what are you doing over there? And he'd say, baby, you like, I think you train, you're going to train different. I go, well, what do I do? You know? And he's like, <laughs> he's you know, on the side of the machine, it's got the explanation. Oh yeah. We've all been there. Right. But I, I don't know anybody that hasn't said to me over the course of my 18 years in this, that said, I, I remember I had to read the side of the panel. Mm -hmm. I said, I did too. We all have to start mm -hmm. somewhere. But I wish I would have taken it more seriously back then and didn't have that gap in my life mm -hmm. uh, that I wasn't engaging in it at all. You just, you don't know what you don't know, you know? And well, and I think that's it. the thing and, and to know that it's never too late. Right. I mean, we have yes. women in their sixties that have signed up for balanced movement method. I mean, so it's, it's never too late. And if you're somebody who you're like, I just don't like to work out period. Yeah. And yeah. this really is perfect for you because it is 15 minutes. We're going to ease you into it. But by the end of the four weeks, you're going to feel better than ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just know that it not only helps us physically, it helps us mentally. If you've got signs of perimenopause and menopause, it's going to help those symptoms. Yes. Those hormonal problems that you're having, like the belly fat the body composition even can help with hot flashes, stress, stress, all the things, the great stress management. There's just so many benefits to it. That's why it's just the perfect piece of the balance puzzle right here is this balance movement method. And I'm super excited. Like I said, I've done one of the workouts. I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to do more of these workouts and do them with a group and have that accountability to really to do it. Because I will say the one thing is like, I'll see somebody on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I, I, like I'll save those moves or whatever. I never get around to doing it. The thing about what I like in these 15 minute videos that you're doing is that I do it with you. I don't have to count. I don't have to do anything. You're counting, you're keeping mm -hmm. up with it all and we do it together and it's great. I can see somebody doing it the right way. That's the other thing. Form, Form. is so important. So yeah, important. you're not going to get the benefit of the exercise if your form is all jacked up. It's just, that's where injury comes in. Next thing you know, you've pulled a muscle and then you're not doing anything because mm -hmm. now you're nursing that and certain movements you can't do. It really helps, you know, to be able to break that all down and understand the, the best form possible. And also to, to be able to understand where to start with weights. I, I get that question a lot. It's like, well, where do I start? How much should exactly. I lift? 
you know, it, it, there is going to be, you know, there's phases and there's got to be a stepping stone. And I think this is a great place to start, whether you've, whether you've kind of gotten out of strength training or you haven't done it before, or, you know, just whatever it's to understand that you can be so effective in 15 minutes, and then you can see what the progression is. Okay. I've done this for a while. Now I know where to go. It's just right. a great stepping stone. Oh, I think so too. And again, the other thing I'm excited about is we brought in Allison, who is a yoga instructor, and she's going to do the stretches. She's already actually recorded the videos for more two morning stretches and two evening stretches. And I've done those. I did those when I was in New York. I was like, oh my gosh, you can tell she's a yogi. <laughs> they are so good. Such great stretches because that's another one of the things that we're not doing enough of. And that was the other thing when I was in New York, Lori, I was walking like 20,000 steps a day. You know what I mean? Um, you know, when you're in New York, you walk a yes. lot. And then I was sleeping in this bed that was so soft. My body ached so bad. Oh. So I used those stretches tremendously. And I think that that is so important to remember that we've got to stretch. We've got to open ourselves out. I've had lower back pain issues. And some so the stretches were geared towards that. It was really mm. nice. Like I said, I'm just, I'm so excited, you know, really about the program just for me personally, but then we're going to have zoom calls with everybody mm -hmm. every week. So we can answer questions and we might have some live workouts. I was going to say, I've, I've put together a little fun bonus. I didn't know if you wanted to mention it or yes. not, but yeah, yeah, I, you know, I was and have been an instructor for years and there's something about when you're in a group like that and you're together and I've realized, you know, it might feel a little different because it's zoom, you know, that thing, but you're, you're seeing everybody and it's that community and it's, you're feeding off each other and you're pushing each other, you know, you're helping lift each other up, like just being there, being supportive. So I'm, that's a little something we added at the end. And I thought to myself, they're going to love it. Clients are going to love that because there's just something fun about that. And it needs to be fun. Yeah. It needs to be fun. Oh, we always have fun in all of our balance groups, especially when people show up for Zoom call. Yeah, <laughs> to it's, me, it's one of our most fun times. I think that's probably one of the things that kind of set us apart from other programs. Well, first of all, what sets us apart is we don't tell you this is what you have to do and this is what we have to do. Because yeah. we no. want you to figure out what's going to work best for you. Look, we all have different lifestyles. We all have different lives and we're all different. And so how can you make it fit into your life? And we help you yes. along those ways. So we don't have like this cookie cutter approach to any of it because we don't believe in that because we believe that no. we're all different, right? I mean, we're all different. Even the oh, three wow. of us, me, you, and Melanie, we're all three different in the way we do things. We're different, but so much alike. Yes. And so, and I love that. And I think that when you are with like-minded women, you want to accomplish the same sort of things. And so, yeah. so anyway, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I, I think I went off on a tangent there, which is not unusual for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Or when we get on any uh, Zoom call, we just, this what we do, we get talking about all the fun stuff. And right. But yeah, it's a, you know, like Deanna said, we really want to help each individual figure out what's best for them. I remember because I started with you as a client of the balance wellness method and you did, you talked a lot about, you're going to, you're going to find your own thing. And I, and I'm sure that this question that I had is what a lot of people are thinking as they're listening is like, okay, well, how do I find that? You know, I had that question like, okay, well, how am I going to find out what's good for me? You know, and, and it wasn't the fitness part because that's always mm -hmm. sort right. of been a love of mine, but it was navigating some other things and just the Zoom calls, like you said, bouncing ideas off each other, talking through some pain points mm -hmm. and really maybe someone has a suggestion, hey, this worked for me or hey, try, you know, there's just that camaraderie and that community that really takes 
the experience of the balanced programs to the next level. Mm -hmm. And you really, you wonder how you're going to find your own thing, but you do. You mm -hmm. find it along the way with the help of the coaches and the community. And next thing you know, you're doing it and you're feeling good and you just, you're ready for more. It's, it, it's yeah. gotta be fun. You know, one of the things, Deanna, I, this, I was thinking of this when you brought this up, you said, you know, it has to be fun. So I, I've done Tough Mudders. I don't know if you've ever heard of Tough Mudders. I have, I, yeah, those do not look like fun. I, they're like my favorite. They're like, are they? Oh, of course they oh, are. Oh, yes, yes. I would build teams How in fun. community. And then there's one called the Dynamic Dirt Challenge that is so fun locally. It's on a, a big, what they what they call Pineland Farms here. And it's like a big farmland. So you're jumping over hay bales. You're going under tunnel. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it, it's so fun. So I, <laughs> I would teach women. I was teaching classes and I would do it right here at my house. I have a you know, really good size driveway and yard and everything. I would set up obstacle courses because a lot of these women were doing those relay races with me, those uh -huh. type of obstacle course races. Literally, we had the pogo stick. Uh uh. You oh, had, how fun. You had to pogo. And I would like that. I would like that. Yeah. And so they were circuits. So I'd have a timer. Someone would go to the pogo stick. Someone else would be flipping a tire. Somebody else would be jumping back and forth over a trash can. You name it. I had it set up. And everybody was like, this is so fun. This is because it didn't feel like right. exercise. I'm kind of yeah. a goofball. I can kind of be a goofball. So I hope that in the videos that, you know, people are enjoying that. I think I, I tend mm -hmm. to bring sort of, you know, lightheartedness to it. And that's what it needs to be in order for us to keep doing it. If it's all rigid and stern and oh, it feels uh, like work, yeah. I'm not doing it. And I don't expect other people to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I definitely think it needs to be fun and you need to find a way to incorporate it in your life so that it is sustainable. Like I know you go into these challenges sometimes and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this challenge. I'm going to take this challenge on. And then it's so much that it's not sustainable for the long yeah. term. And yeah, or, you know, I mean, even think about it, any kind of challenge that you get too sore because you've done too many things all at once. So we're going to ease you into this. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, the thing that you said about the community, Lori, to me, I did one-on-one -on -one coaching for two or three years. I don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. Because the magic happens with the group. Yes. That's where the magic happens. I found that I don't have all the answers. And when we're all together, we can bounce things off and we can learn so much from each other. And so I, I love the community aspect of it. We've got so much. It's all right there in the app. So you don't even have to have social media. You've got your phone. You've got it. You know, yeah, you've just got like the you've workouts. Been in New York. Yeah. Exactly. You're pulling up the stretches right exactly. from your phone. Like, I exactly. love that. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap up our podcast, but you guys, if y'all are interested in joining us, you can click on the link and join us. If you're hearing this a little bit later, don't worry. We're going to have lots of different sessions on. So we kind of rotate balance wellness method, balance eating method, balance movement method. So we rotate them. Each program's three times a year. You have an opportunity to buy all three programs together or just one program at a time. Whatever works best for you. We know that all three of the programs work best together, but it may be that you just feel like there's one part that you really need to work on. So mm. I'm super excited about getting started. Um, any last Me words, too. Lori? This has been a long time coming. We've been working yeah. on this for a while. So I just can't wait until that first day that, that we're seeing all the clients that, I mean, we already got a big list. Where yeah, we do. We already have. List. Yes, exactly. exactly. So they're as ready as we are. I, I'm right. excited about it. I can't wait. Yeah, me too. Okay, guys. So don't forget, if you're ready to join us, just look in the show notes. You'll find all the links right there.